Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to ISBAJ TV. My name is Clark and today we're going to talk about one method that's going to benefit you when you roll with guys who love to turtle up. Let's check it out. Okay guys, I have my training partner Mungia here in the turtle position. I'm trying to find a way to grab a grip of his collar, trying to get my hooks in on this side. It's not really happening, so I switched to the other side. Still trying, can't really find an opening. He's really tight, trying to pull on his belt. Nothing, so I switch back. Really aggravating. Now this is very common in the training environment. A lot of people will turn it up so they can either buy time, recover because they're really tired, or to set up a transition to get out of it. This will be very upsetting for you if you can't find a method to break through that turtle position. Now here's a second look of the same type of attempt. This way I'm trying to get my collar grip, but this time I'm trying to force that knee in there, trying to pull his shoulder off. It's not happening. I move to the other side and same deal, trying to sink in that knee. Not happening. Let's grab his belt here. Nothing. So upsetting, can't get through that turtle position. Now when all else fails with trying to get your grips into the collar, sometimes we may jump to just jump on our opponent's back. All they have to really do is just tripod. Here's a second view, same deal here. Jump on my opponent's back, he tripods, boomed. This can even lead to an unnecessary scramble. Now we're gonna take a look at another great option. I'm on my side of my opponent here trying to get my collar grip, trying to get my foot inside and it's not working. First thing I want to do is make sure that I grab four fingers in on his collar and back of his head here. Next, I secure his belt with my left hand as I stand up and create some distance. Then I apply my foot that's closest to his legs on the outside part of his knee to create a doorstop so he doesn't base. And lastly, I pull my opponent towards me as I step away letting him land on his back. Keep note that when I do this, I make sure that I remove my foot that's creating a door stop on his knee so I doesn't get caught right under him. At this point, I can apply chest to chest pressure and continue with my side control. Let's see this again in slow motion. I'm on side control here. My opponent is on the turtle position. I'm trying to feed in my wrist here, trying to get that collar grip. He's not letting me. All right, fine. I try to get my hooks in. Nothing too tight. Grab my four fingers inside behind the collar, left hand on the belt. I stand up and I place my foot on the outer part of his knee and as I pull I make sure I remove my foot and now I land on side control here. Let's see it once more in real time. Special thanks to Professor Alan Teal for allowing us to record in his academy. Come train with us at any of our two locations. This video was recorded at 2175 Lemoyne Avenue, Fort Lee, New Jersey. Any feedback or ideas, leave them in the comment section down below. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Like what ISBJJ is doing? Subscribe to our newsletter. Visit our website at www.isbjj.com for updates. Thanks for watching.